My wife was laughing at me as fe- I ran outside to the FedEx truck like a giddy little school kid expecting an ice cream cone. Hello and welcome to Assorted Meeples. I'm Philip the Meeple on duty and today we are clearly looking and looking at and unboxing the expansion and full re- second reprinting of uh, Foundations of Rome. I have all the stuff so let's go ahead and jump right into it without further ado. I have I skipped this game the first time because it didn't look like there was enough substance there for the price they were asking and then I watched some gameplays and I actually saw it and I was like oh my hello and then I dug a little deeper and I saw it was uh Emerson Miss, mm, not gonna not gonna murder that name but it will be down here for your viewing pleasure uh, he is he designed the century series he designed reef I'm sure he's done a few extras that I don't know about but Pretty much every game that we've played of them, me and Heather, we have really loved. So, this is the playmat that they designed from Table Topper, or Game Toppers. And I got this like three months ago, because they got it and they just shipped it straight out. Oh. Oh my. That I will have, uh b-roll of this over it this is this is crisp oh so you have the one side that is uh, meant as the horizontal viewing side and then you have the other side which is set up as the vertical but again i will be doing b-roll for this video because i'm getting it done a little Real quick and a little early, so I'll, I don't feel so rushed on the day of release uh, to get it done. And, oh, this is very crisp. Some game mats turn out very, uh, not quite as good that you would love to see. But this, this turned out great. I love it. We're just going to leave it right here on top. And then we're going to pull out this box. This box, I do believe, has some of the little extras. So let's get right into it here. Slide it out. Safety first. Don't want to poke a hole in anything. Barely get that knife in there. Air. Whoa, that's a lot of air pack. All right. So first, I have the metal statue. First player statue. Which... A little excessive. It's got a box and a plastic baggie. Uh, metal, wonderful statue. That's that's a heavy weighty boy. And then I have the point scoring guys markers that are stackable. And then I have the Garden of Circe or Circe, Circe. New game mode for solo play featuring smart opponent that adapts to counter your moves. Designed by the award-winning David Tursi. And that's everything that's in this box. So that goes in. It goes aside. Goodbye. Sorry for your ears if that was really loud. I will dig into this later. I was a little disappointed with this campaign's uh, fulfillment and communication. Because they would kind of, if there was nothing going, they would kind of just leave it radio silent. All right, come here. 21 pounds of box. Now, yes, this is how it ships. Let's let's see how much it actually breaks down once we get it out of the box. Come on, get over there. Get over there. Yep, just barely touch it. All right, this is the full size of the box. It has the, actually, let's just pop the top here. And yeah, it is packaged very nicely. Easy does it. All right, it was packaged very nicely. It has its own plastic cover as well. And it had 
the foam sheets to hold it in place so the box could crumple around it without damaging it at all. Oh my. Yeah, this this is a huge one. Oh, I actually love the artwork on this now that I'm seeing it like up close and personal. Like it's very painterly. It's not like finished complete uh smooth and all that it's very painterly and i kind of like I'm, I'm here for it it is not a solid cube it is a close to cube and it will fit from everything i know into a calyx cubby this actually has hair as i'll point it out in a picture but it has a uh, thumb grip that you can just that way you can slide up it's a little tight it's a little tight oh come on up all the way now here we go all right so we'll set the box aside here oh well that's not so pr oh that's marble that's marbling that's not dirty that's marbling and that's supposed to be there okay for a second it looked like it got washed and then like all the soap didn't get off it so i have the residue what i love about this box it is ginormous and crazy and ridiculous but once I roll this out, all I have to do is like, oh, you want to be red? Cool. Here's your players pieces. Enjoy. You're ready to go. That's, that's everything you need for being a player. Although I just saw they all stack, like pulled out. This tray is all the monuments for the extras. So I'm going to put this back in here. I guess we go down it this way. So I have all the monuments here for the extras and those things are absolutely ginormous. Love it. So the what you're doing in this game is you are buying deeds for all the different corresponding to all the spaces of Rome. Once you get a space that you can use, you're going to pick your piece up like this is a monument, so it's a little bigger. And then you're going to set it down onto the board and you gain points and resources and all that stuff to continue and do more. These are all the huge Rome, like temples and things like that. These, the sun drop, I, again, there will be full pictures. I will show this off. These are truly amazing. What's this little dragon guy? I don't remember who you are. That's a dragon on a corner tower. I don't know what you go to. Hmm. I'll have to do some digging to see what you are. But all this is absolutely gorgeous. So we're going to pop this back on. Hopefully. Did I get it right? Do I need to dig it, dragon? I might have got dragon in the wrong place. Yep, I got dragon in the wrong position. Hold on. Got to rotate. Is that right? That is right. Okay, there we go. So it does have to go in exactly as it came out because it all sits in there nicely. They have every player piece has covers on it that will hold them all level. I wasn't aware... So each player has their own pieces. They're all the same, it looks like. The monuments are all different and you gotta spend extra for those. I didn't, these are not on like rails in here. So if you have certain colors that you know you're gonna use, you're gonna wanna put those on top. And that is pretty much our empty box. And then this is, let's just tuck you guys back in. I know we're gonna want purple and blue anyway, so they're gonna go back in on top. Okay, this is the rule book, the rules for both the Roads of Fortune expansion and the Foundations of Rome. The Roads of uh, Fortune adds different scoring objectives and things like that. We have our different boards that I will not be using because I have a player mat. I have my coins. 
I have my pieces. What are all you little guys? Oh, you're, this is how the monuments slide back in. So you can see how those go in there. I'm not sure what these guys do. Well, I'll figure that out. And then down on the bottom, you have all your cards, your coins, your markers, your player pieces, everything that you're going to need to play the game outright. I am ecstatic to get this game to the table with Heather. I have to, so we got your objectives. You have all the different play styles. There are different play styles and object things that you can do to spice this game up other than just the base game. Now, oh, that's a lot of coins. Pretty light coins, nothing crazy. They have spaces in here for the coins, which is nice. You have your scoring markers, which now are, because I have the other ones, are now useless. Or I have two sets of everything to play games, multiple games with. So there's multiple ways to look at this in a bright and sunny side of things. All right, let's get this back in here. And then you and you. Is that how that went? And you will find out because it won't let me close it if I didn't get it right. Foundations of Rome, you are a beauty. Okay, yep, got it back in there. Did not. This needs to go back in as well. There we go. Now it's all back in there. No taki, no taki. All right. Nope, that's not how you're supposed to be. You're supposed to be done. Stop it. Go in here right. Pardon me while I struggle. Again, this is one that I skipped on the first backing because I didn't know and I didn't see until I actually saw. And once I saw, I wanted. And I was in a place to get it. So I did. I did not sacrifice anything. that you know was needed or anything like that I'm done I'm not gonna figure this out on camera because that's just wasting everybody's time I will say this production value is absolutely insane the wash on these the sun drop uh, is absolutely gorgeous the box construction is actually because of how they have it all set up and uh, set in here the box, while big, is very solid, and it is made to pull out and get to the table very fast. The board itself is actually kind of impressive. They have, and tucks down tight, rather than trying to make one huge board, they made it smaller, so you can pull it apart and put it back together and fit it in different space into the box without being a huge problem. I like that. The playmat is actually very helpful, it looks like, in keeping everything in front of you while not taking up too much space. So yeah, that's all I have. I'm going to force Heather into playing this one very soon and hopefully get some first thoughts and feedback and review out for you guys. Uh, I know this is a couple year old game at this point, but uh, new eyes on it always helps and some people... I, I might have a different opinion and you guys are there for it. So we will see you guys next time. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye. If you like what you just saw, please support us by hitting that like button and subscribing to our channel for more great gaming content.